Hi everyone, welcome back to Transformers Toys for Kids. This week we're looking at three new Transformers from the Rise of the Beast line. We've got Optimus Prime and Bumblebee, two fan favorites, and then Rhinox. This will be a fun one because we only have the small weaponizer version of him. Now before we flip it around and check out the back, I want to say this channel is so close to 50,000 subscribers. If we can get to 50,000 subscribers, next week I'll review the transforming Bumblebee mask and show you what I look like behind that mask. So hit that subscribe button and let's get to 50,000. Starting with Optimus Prime, they got really cool shots of them all from the movie. Flipping it around to the back, they really don't take many steps at all, which I think will be really nice. And they've got some interesting vehicle forms. So that's Optimus Prime, got Bumblebee, he'll take nine steps. I like his off-road vehicle mode. And then we've got Rhinox. We'll have to compare him next to his weaponizer mode. He only takes six steps. So I'm looking forward to this one. Let's open him up and check him out. Optimus Prime, Rhinox, and Bumblebee are unboxed and ready to go. Let's take a closer look at some of these vehicles or beast modes. Optimus Prime's vehicle mode looks very different than what we normally see. Here, is the weaponizer version of Optimus Prime. This is your typical Optimus Prime, not this. So I'm not sure when we're gonna see this in the new movie, but it's a very interesting vehicle mode. All right, let's put him back. Let's check out Rhinox. He is a brand new mold. Check out all the different metallic pieces on him. And then we've got the smaller version of him. These are awesome. We can definitely do some fun things with this in our Rescue Bots magic video. And last but not least, of course, we have Bumblebee who rolls really well. I'm thinking his vehicle mode is gonna be a lot better than his robot mode though. This is our flex changer Bumblebee. So if we have these right up next to each other, this looks a little more rugged, but I think this is completely painted, whereas this is just yellow plastic. Let's put this Bumblebee back and we'll go through each one. We'll start with Optimus Prime, then Rhinox, then Bumblebee. Optimus Prime has a pretty simple transformation. It says eight steps, but it's not bad at all. First, we're gonna lift up these wheels and bring them up. Then we're gonna take his legs and unhinge them here, here and here, bring them down, and then we have to pull this part out too. Down, there we go. And then we can rotate all the way around like this. So he's looking a little odd, we're getting there. All right, we pull apart his arms, we have to take his shoulders and pull them up and his other shoulder and pull it up and then rotate around so you can see his arms. Then we need to push these back like this and then pull up his head. And that's it. There's Optimus Prime with these really long arms ready to go. Another cool thing about Optimus Prime and the really cool head sculpt they've got on him is he's got this weapon, this sword that can pull out like this and now he's got really long arms. He's got this awesome sword. He can swing around and battle those Terracons, maybe, hopefully, Decepticons or Predacons. And then I have the Weaponizer Optimus Prime to compare next to him. You can tell they have very similar head sculpts. So I wonder if he goes from this form to this form somewhere in the movie, or maybe this used to be a really old form for Optimus Prime. Up next is Rhinox, and he might be even easier than Optimus Prime to transform. So the first step, you can see his head under there. We need to pull his legs up and out of the way, and this is the weapon he has, which I'll show you in just a second. Then we need to take his back and pull it apart like this so it becomes his legs. And then we do a couple things. We're going to pull the rhino feet up to get them out of the way, and then snap that in like this. So now you have Rhinox's legs and we're going to pull his arms down. He's got a fist in here. We need to fold out and then this arm comes down and then we take the Rhino head and pull it back and then tab these in on his back and he's ready to go. This is Rhinox in his robot mode. Let's zoom in a little bit and check out those cool gold accents on his chest and his head. And this is really fun. Look how well it spins. This is his weapon from the old Beast Wars show. He actually had two of them and it'd spin around just like that. But the fun and kind of funny part is the rhino, the small rhino I showed you before, transforms into this weapon 
And so we've got Rhinox here, Rhinox there. He can hold his own self, I guess. Check that out. This is awesome. He's got two weapons ready to go. And they're both him. I love it. All right, we've got to get, let's see, Optimus Prime. Oh yeah, they look great next to each other. All we're missing is Bumblebee. Last but not least, we have Bumblebee. And again, I really like his vehicle mode, but I normally like just about every Transformer that comes out. I do not like this one. The transformation's weird and it doesn't hold together well in robot mode. Let me show you how to transform it. So first, we get his arms unhooked and out of the way. Then they want you to lift up this back part and kind of stretch everything down. Everything gets stretched down like that. Then we can, once this is out of the way, we can take this front part and rotate it like this. So it locks into place as his chest. We can take this back flap now and push it up and lock that into place. We can rotate his legs around like this and then get his feet down like that. His arms can come down and we're nearly there. And this is the part I don't like. The chest is supposed to tab in here right under the front of the car and it doesn't stay in place for me. It doesn't lock in. So we're gonna pretend it's locking in and there is Bumblebee ready to go. And check out his robot mode compared to the flex changer. Turn them to the side. Just a little different. Now there's a price difference in these, but this is so much better than this. He looks so odd. The cool thing he has though, is this that can rotate his fist around and turn into a weapon that can fire off. But I'm gonna have to say that's about it. So let's bring out the other two and compare all three. Here we have all three characters lined up and I think I put them in order of my favorites. I like Optimus Prime. He's got a simple transformation that works well every time in this fun sword that comes out. I like Rhinox in the fact that he can hold himself as his other weapon and still has this really cool gun action on the other side. But Bumblebee, I'm not even sure he's worth purchasing. There's other Bumblebees like the Flex Changer that are way better. Even if the Flex Changer can't move his arms, this Bumblebee, is not so great. So I'd pick up these two, not this Bumblebee, unfortunately, and I love the character Bumblebee. Hey, I hope you enjoyed watching today, and as usual, be sure to tune back in every week for more fun Transformers toys videos.